Okay, so Diamonds has just dropped and I'm immediately stuck behind a bug where a door won't open. So I decided that I was going to go and do Zaku. Um, I finally formed him up and I can give a, an opinion. Now, I will say this. This is more like a brainstorm video than it is anything else because it has not been out long enough for me to actually completely understand every little niche thing. So I'm guaranteed to have missed something, some combo, some, some excellent wombo that make makes him deal a thousand damage every millisecond and he's going to be op because of some dumb little thing so this is just my kind of overview of him my opinion um i hope it helps somebody uh give an idea before you uh go and grind him um i actually really um, i'm okay I, I i if i was to give him a, a rating out of 10 it'd probably be about a six um so he does a lot of void damage now i'll talk about void damage first because that's basically what this guy does and void damage is a very niche thing in this game and it is a damage type that can affect sentience and um, eidolons and all those little niche things. I mean Warframe for the past year, two years have been trying to push sentience and we haven't really seen a lot of them. I'm half expecting some sort of sentient stronghold to pop up so we can actually fight them properly. Um, because getting a few on Lua is is not enough. I mean, to warrant a Warframe alone. Um, maybe a weapon was fine, the Paracetus when it came out. But um, yeah, so now we've got a void, a sentient killing, void damage dealing Warframe. What's it like? So, I don't know. Um... <laughs> I've got a lot to talk about the abilities and stuff, but overall, 6 out of 10 is very niche, but that doesn't mean necessarily mean he's bad or anything. I think niche is a good thing, because back in the day, niche was what made teamwork happen. You know, you'd have a Mirage, sorry, not Mirage, you'd have a Mag, um, a Frost, a Mesa, doing all, you know, all each doing their own job and collectively making the whole thing, making the whole Tower 2 defense key work and you can get up to like you know 40 minute 40 wave defenses there and it was really fun so niche is not necessarily a bad thing um i'm honestly half expecting them to push out some sentient stuff there might be some sentient stuff in the di um, heart of diamonds i have not touched it at all really um because of that bug but uh there was a hot fix so i'll be doing that another time but yeah so i'll talk about his abilities um i'll try my very very best to get through them all um in one one go. So his passive is a 25% chance for incoming weapon damage to pass through completely. Now this is exactly the same, well, exactly the same. It's similar to Nyx's passive where 20% of the bullets will miss. It's just straight up survivability. There's nothing more to it. It's super easy. You know, you just, it's running around, 25% chance bullets just don't, just don't hit you. It's great. Uh, Zaz Whisper, wield void damage for all attacks from equipped weapons when activated. Now, void damage it's it's hard to explain. Um, it's good against sentience, but there aren't that many sentience. So really, it's like meh. Um, it's okay. Whatever. Grasp of lock. Void tendrils steal weapons from nearby enemies to use as your own floating auto targeting armament. This was the coolest thing that they showed, besides Heart of Dimos, on his abilities when Tenacon happened. And I'm I've seen it now, and it's just sort of meh. Like. This is something I'd swap out, out of all of these abilities. Um, the Lost, this is his most interesting ability for me. Cycle through and cast one of the three abilities originating from Warframes that make up Zaku. Accuse, Gaze, and Deny. I'll go through those when I cast them. Uh, the Vast Untime. Temporarily shed the outer pieces of Zaku in the Destructive Blast, then stalk the battlefield in a new swifter skeletal form. Enemies damaged by the body shrapnel are rendered weaker to void damage. So, this thing... Is probably his main survivability, but I think the Lost is his like Warframe defining ability. I, I think this is this is what makes him really really good, and I'll explain in a bit. But the Vast in Time gives you 75% dodge chance. It doesn't weirdly enough couple with your 25% chance. I thought it would. I tested it. You still take damage, which you know that is understandable. It's, it would be kind of broken. Um, so basically, you run in, you press four, you make this little AOE. And you make all the enemies weaker to void damage. And that obviously couples with Zao's Whisper. So you turn that on and then you deal more damage. That enables you to deal that damage. Because void damage doesn't actually do any kind of bonus. 
um, it has minus 50% void modifier to clone flesh, cloned, cloned flesh and fossilized. Fossilized is basically any um, high tier infested, like um, the ancients and stuff like that. And cloned flesh is basically most of the Grenier. Uh, I think it's just something to do with their health. I'm, it, I'm way out on my depth here with that kind of stuff. But other than that, it doesn't really give any bonuses except against sentience. So the damage is sort of like, well, what's the point? Um, until they until they release some sort of like sentient killing, like properly, you know, not like the one or two that you get fighting in Lua or wherever. You know, I just feel like it's not really that useful. Um, and a mention here is the tips. So the first one I read, Saku is the only Warframe that can deal void damage, which makes him effective against sentient enemies, obviously, with the exception of Eidolons. So if you're thinking to taking this to kill Eidolons, um, I don't, I haven't really tested it yet, but maybe, maybe, like I said, you know, I might miss something, this might actually be really good, but apparently, you're not supposed to use him to kill Eidolons, which kind of is like, what, what is the point? So, yeah, um, here's lots of little tips, always read these, these, these are actually very useful, um, yeah, so these are, these are quite good. There are his abilities, um, so I'll talk about the Lost now, um, the Lost, so he has a toggle, another thing I don't like about this game is the toggles. I hate, I don't like toggle abilities for some, it, it just, it just ruins the flow of the whole game for me, I, I don't know, like, for Valban, it's fine, I think that's good, because he's kind of like a techie Warframe, you know, having gadgets and stuff, cycling through them, it just kind of ruins the flow, and I don't really like it, and I, I've had, I've al already thought up a few changes that I would make to this Warframe to make him actually a little bit more streamlined, but I don't like the toggle. Um, the main one here is Gaze. So Gaze is a, you target an enemy, a big area of effect, and immediately you remove their shields and armor. Um, nothing to do with infested, but I guess they don't really have anything to remove. But removing 100% of Grenier's armor is insane. Now, in this game, for me personally, again, this is just my opinion, the armor shredding that we have is sort of... I don't know, it, it's just it's just effort to use, like, b before they nerfed Corrosive Projection, that was fun, you, you'd take four Corrosive Projections in, and you'd have um, less than 100% armor for Grenier, and they just have red health, and it was great. That's their, basically, that's their main defense against you, is their stupidly high armor, and that's what you've got to try and navigate around. This ability is, hands down, the best armor shred that I've seen, and coupled with this new Warframe, um, Stealing Warframe abilities from other people. This is this is just going to make him so good. You could swap out Grasp of the Lock, which is a bit meh. Put Lava in there from Nidus. And you can bundle all these enemies in. Steal all of their armor. And just completely go ham on them. And it, it is great. I'll show you what it does in a sec. Um, so yeah. yeah. The other two. You, you have Accuse. I think Accuse was the one that can make allies so you turn them into allies and again most most warframe ally taking abilities just suck because their damage is nothing compared to their hp so it's just more of a form of cc and so is the grasp of the lock here you just take their weapons and it's cc but mostly it's not really damage um and deny is i just don't see how it's useful you basically shoot shoot an enemy like a huge blast and if you don't kill them, you knock them up, which is CC, which is fine. But then Accused does that, really. And, um, yeah, Grasp of the Lock also does it. I don't really know why it denies here. It does a lot of damage, so I think it's probably good against Sentience. Like I said, they're probably going to release something to do with Sentience, maybe in the Heart of Dimos. I have no idea, but we'll, we'll see. So I'll show you the build that I've come up with. This is very early on. Um, I formed him twice. So, to explain this really, I've taken Vitality here. Vitality because, instead of redirection, even with all the shield changes, is because I have Arcane Grace. And Arcane Grace is really nice. And coupled with his ultimate, with the 75% dodge chance, if I get hit, I have a lot of time to proc Arcane Grace and get full health again before I take another hit. And that's why I've taken Vitality. But I think redirection and or Prime Vigor here is really good. Now, I've gone for... 205, 200% strength, but 205% strength, basically because it gives me the 100% defense reduction to gaze, so I can just take all of the enemy armor. It's glorious. I'll show you what that's like. And I've tried. I've gone for range instead of duration. 
purely because the the range scale is quite quite intensely, and I, th I feel like this uh, this Warframe really needs range a lot because of grasp of the lock and and his ultimate for that big you know making sure everyone's hit by the vulnerability of the void damage and etc etc. Um, over duration, you could go for more duration to keep them up CC'd for longer, but it doesn't really matter. Um, Arcane Energy is here because he is a power power hungry Warframe. Like 120 train here, 90, 60, 30, and that's only 20% less. So yeah, it's, he, he is a he is a hungry, hungry frame. So Energy Siphon instead of Corrosive Projection because if I've got um, Gaze, who the hell needs Corrosive Projection? You don't really need it. Arcane Energize. These are very hard to come by, very expensive arcanes um if you don't have them i think energy siphon and your your um void dash with xeneric that is completely fine um or equilibrium in here to get some get some hp along with the you know the the uh, vast on time with the dodge chance um that's completely fine but yeah this is the build i've come up with so strength duration transient fortitude or extended these aren't terrible hard hard to get normal prime flow works normal prime continuity works stream up it's a very old school basic build nothing really exciting in here um i've not really had time to to process much more than that but this is basically just a just a brainstorm kind of thing um obviously i haven't even got the the axolus adapter but you know that would be extra range or extra duration etc etc um and that's pretty much it. So I'll show you what the abilities do in a in a practical term. So I have, well, I have two. So I'll get the corrupted heavy gunners. I get six of those guys. Why can't I get those? Twenty would do. So I've simmed them. So I'll show you what the grasp of the lock does. So basically, what you do is you stand here with the big range cast that steal their weapons and obviously because their armor is so stupidly high i'm doing no damage and he's a level 150 now i used to say a level 150 you'd never see it but because of steel path you'd see a level 150 quite often now um so this is sort of like well what's the point um i'll show you what it can be useful and i'll show you gaze now so gaze is his main ability for me in my opinion if i cast this Everybody else has no armor and the range of this area is pretty pretty good That's that's the kind of range you want if you find grenier or, or corpus you want to you want a big range and Immediately that level 150 just deleted like and obviously if you take their weapons You did a lot more damage and it's really nice. It's actually really nice So let's run out. I just recast that 20 seconds is enough to wipe the area, honestly. And like I said, if you can steal a Warframe ability, it'd be nice to suck all of them into this big range area and just completely annihilate them. Um, so yeah, that's what he does. I will show you the other two. So over here we have Deny. So if I just shoot one, you do 50 damage and you knock a couple up. It's like, well, I think that's more to do with the Sentience, more like assassination against Sentience, which is fine if we have more Sentience to kill. Uh, accuse, just you do this, and they are all allies, and that's basically all they do. They are just friends. That's fine, whatever. It's CC again, you know, they're not shooting at you, so whatever. I will quickly show you what the what what it's like when I turn my ulti on. So, if I pause, unpause the AI simulate. I've got no energy, that's fine. I can go over here, cast my ult. So I have that 75% chance if I just stand here and tank it. So I'm dodging a few bullies. Only one of them is shooting at me apparently. There you go. So if you get through, it's pretty brutal. It's okay. It's good. For, obviously, I'm just standing there taking it. And you would never fight that many heavy gunners. But um, obviously, their fire rate is insane. But uh, it's, it's good. It's just survivability. You're jumping around. You know, you're not going to get hit that often. And... Yeah, it's 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 just whatever. So I was just standing there taking its proof point. It's it's okay. It, you know, it does what it does 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 the job to keep you alive. It's good survivability along with your passive. So the ultimate with the Q, uh, with the one, sorry, the four with the one. So if I turn that on, you basically get this. You get the big um, void damage proc, which is the big bubble, and it it's fine. It's whatever. You know, it's that's what sort of what you get when you shoot the eidolons. Uh, now you can get it on a Warframe, which has uses, I guess, but it's like, I don't know, D3 
do you really want that or not? I'm not sure. Um, obviously, I'm doing not that much damage. I'm proccing void damage, but not that much. If I cast my ulti, so now they're all affected and they're more susceptible to it. There's not a huge change. Now, this gun does a lot of damage. And the reason why it's not doing a lot of damage is because I'm hitting them in the chest. So when I hit them in the head... The only reason I'm hitting them in the body is because of this stupid bubble. It's making me hit them in the body, and I'm not I'm not being able to aim accurately enough with it. So once it runs out, which is now, I'll go over here, I'll show you what it does. So it's all about crits in the head. I'm hitting a lot harder, and it's dead. So, it's again, it's a very weird niche thing. I think the only thing I'd use him for is his, is his gaze, really. Um, but I'll again, I'll reiterate, I have barely done testing with this you know besides maybe a couple hours um there's a lot more i'm sure he has a lot more potential against sentience and that but we'll see and i think that's pretty much what he does so yeah you cast this to do extra void damage you press this to make make them more susceptible to void damage you press your cross the lock to steal their weapons and you cast gaze to shred their armor and that's pretty much what he does and then obviously the armor shred is just absolutely devastating. So yeah, that's pretty much what he does. Um, I can't think if I've missed anything or not. I think that's about it. So yeah, if you have any other suggestions, I've seen a lot of people leveling up Zaku in the last couple hours. Obviously it's literally just dropped. There's plenty to see and do. Um, I will be back with that stuff another time. Peace.